Nicholas Miller, how you doing, mate? What's up, man? I've been watching you for a while. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Mobile, Alabama. Mobile, Alabama. Okay. And what's going on? What brings you here today? I just felt like God told me to, or led me to you, and I've been taking the whole Islam thing seriously. I okay. bought my very first one um, on the 27th, I'm about a third of the way through, okay. and I just love it. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. And what, what was it that brought you to it? Um, I like to study like different religions, but um, okay. I, I heard Andrew Tate talk about it, and so I'm like, um, I don't really know. I don't know a lot about it. So, and then I stumbled upon you, and you just made sense. Really? Well, what what part of it made sense to you? Like I was raised like um, Jesus is the is the um, is God, but mm -hmm. then you I looked at like the the, book, the biblical references that you were quoting, and I'm like, okay, he's right. Okay, but then but how does that make Islam true? Um. By believing that there's only one God, Allah. Um, I grew up a Messianic Jew, so we, okay. so Messianic Jews believe like there's the the Trinity, and so I no longer believe okay. that. Okay. And why do you believe Muhammad is a messenger of Allah? Um, I I've heard what you said, what other people say, like um, the four reasons, like he could either be a liar, mad, um power and i'm spacing on the other one but then so you just it was yes yeah so it's basically cry, lying crazy deceived or telling the truth yeah yes sir and so uh -huh. i agreed with you um i think he's legitimate honestly really yeah okay do you want to become muslim then yes sir okay so let's do it uh, repeat after me do it in arabic first and then english inshallah okay okay say say ashadu Ashatu. An la. An la. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Ashadu. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulullah. A Rasulullah. Say, I bear witness. I bear witness. That none has the right to be worshipped. That none have the right to be worshipped. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad. Is the messenger of Allah. Is the messenger of Allah. Alhamdulillah. Takbir. You're a mashallah. You're, you're now you. a Muslim, my brother. Nicholas. Heck yeah. Hey, thank you for, for everything, man. I really did want you to do it. Alhamdulillah. So where you live, is are there Muslims near you? Or do you know Muslims? Or... Um, I know some Muslims um, from okay. TikTok. I've never, okay. but I'm in Post Falls, Idaho right now. What's that? I'm from, or I live in Post Falls. I'm from Alabama, though. You live in Post Falls, but you're from Alabama. Where's Post Falls? Idaho. Oh, hey, you know, I'm asking you like, oh, that makes sense. I don't know. Where oh, sorry, no. I don't you're know where right. any of the states are, to be honest with you. Hardly. I know bits and pieces. Okay. Oh, so I forgot. You're, you're in Europe. Alabama. But you're living now in Idaho. Yes, sir. Okay, inshallah. Uh, so, what I would say to you um, is: there any mosques near you? Um, there's one about 32 minutes away um, in Spokane, okay. so it's like right around the the border or right across the border. Okay. So, my advice would be: visit your local mosque. Okay. Yeah. Say to them, look, I took my shahada. Um, is it last night? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's nighttime there. What time is it there? It's 2.39 p.m. Oh, mashallah. It's in the afternoon. So he took my shahada okay. um, with a guy called Hamza on on his channel. And um, he's told me to come to my local mosque to basically learn how to pray. Um, also, I'll send you a link um, to AIRA. Now, oh. AIRA is, is basically they have programs to basically once you take your shahada. So you, you say you're a new Muslim. And then they'll, they'll take you through the steps of learning how to pray and all this kind of stuff. Inshallah. Because that's your next stage now. Yeah. Okay. So the first pillar of Islam is to basically take your shahada. And then the second pillar of Islam is praying, connecting to your creator. Inshallah. And then that's what will raise you up. I mean, do you live alone or do you live with your family or what's the script? I live with my family. 
Okay, mashallah. So one advice I would offer um, is tell your family. Oh, yeah, I've told them about um, me being intrigued by being a Muslim, and I'm going to tell them today that I, I took the Shahada. Oh, it's gonna... how, do, how do they react when you when you, st you told them this? Um, my mom was, he, she took it better than my dad. My dad told me today, like, oh, it's a mistake. He's Jewish and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, I, I, see. Yeah, yeah. I, I disagree, you know, and then he's like, Yeshua is the one, you know, and I'm like, and that's like Jesus, as you probably know, but um, yeah. but I just don't believe that way, and I want to do this. Alhamdulillah. If you want me to chat to your dad, don't worry, bring him. Uh, there's a there's a there's a conversation raging in the chat. Are you ginger or are you blonde? <laughs> I'm ginger. Yeah. Yeah, ginger. Ginger power, mashallah. We know what it's all about. We're blessed. <laughs> all right, I'll send you that link. Do me a favor, mess send me an email. Okay. You know, have you got my email address? Yeah, yeah. I saw it on your YouTube video. Yeah. Yeah, it's there now. Yeah. Sweet. Send me an email and then I'll send you the link for the IERA thing because I think it'll be fantastic for you. And I'll Sweet. stay in touch with you anyway, inshallah, Nicholas. And any questions you got, don't hesitate to message me and ask me. Yeah. Yes, sir. And hey, I've been doing the, the five prayers oh. daily. So, and it feels good. You've already been doing the prayers. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, you can, what, in English or Arabic? Um, English. Yeah. Okay. So now what you do, you'll start to learn how to say them in Arabic. Oh, because okay. the Quran's the Quran when you recite it in Arabic in its language. Okay. The English is is, is kind of like the nearest meaning. Okay. But, but the Quran um, in the Arabic, mashallah, that's that's what you'll learn, and you'll learn it easily. Don't worry, man. Gotcha. Okay. It's a little bit intimidating. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Doing the Arabic. The way you've got to the way you got to approach it, right? Is okay. you remember when you were a kid and you learned to read. Cats are on the map, Johnny and Jen type flex. Yeah, you're now a newborn baby. Yeah, you're now been reborn, um, fresh, and it's time to learn the reality of life. Yeah, yes, sir. Yep. And, and you're gonna relearn everything. You know, one thing I, I realized when I accepted Islam, um, I never understood nothing that I thought I knew everything, I actually knew nothing. Things I thought were true, were just not true. The way That's I, I feel. Politics, geography, history, it was just all flawed. And so you're going to you're going to go through a process of relearning everything. And like I said, the Arabic, start with the letters, learn the Alibata. Anyway, like I said, the link I'm going to send you will help you. All right, my man. Yes, sir. Hey, thank you so, so much, man. I'm a huge fan. Thank you for joining the stream and making my night. Alhamdulillah. Thank Take you care, for dude. making mine. Yeah, you too. Mashallah. What a beautiful brother.